Okay, so I'm going to do a real quick uh, update overview of our fall vegetable garden. I've been real busy here lately. I haven't been on YouTube for several weeks now. Um, so uh, let's just take a quick overview of what we've got going on in our garden. All right, so let's start over here. I got uh, on this side is mostly just pumpkins and butternut squash surviving. If you check out my last video, uh, we're harvesting um, a couple of uh, pumpkins here. Uh, French style pumpkin so uh, go check that out um, there's also butternut squash in here let me see if I can find one for you there's one down in there not quite ready yet uh, and there are some more looks like there's another one over there a little bit smaller but this is just loaded down with uh, pumpkins and butter and butternut squash uh, if I come over here I know around this area there was some more hanging alright so here I'm in the main garden bed I had one watermelon that was starting to make and it rotted out on the bottom here so I don't know what caused that disappointing uh, over here with all, all of our different pepper plants. This is a serrano. You can see it just loaded down with a ton of peppers. This uh, fall, late uh, summer, uh, these pepper plants have done so much better. Uh, I think one uh, lesson we learned early in the spring, uh, we added a whole bunch of compost and uh, I don't think it was decomposed enough and pretty much sucked all the nitrogen out of our soil and now it's been here for a while decomposing in the soil and as we can see our plants are doing much better now here we have uh, some habanero this is a habanero plant here some of them are starting to ripen we still have tons on this plant jalapeno plant here. I need to get out here and pick some of this stuff. Some are ripe already. Overly ripe. Others on the vine. Over here we have poblano. I like to use these poblano plants a lot. This thing is taken off. I've never had one this big before. And it's got a lot of uh, poblanos on it. It's still a little bit small. But, uh, I mean, they are coming along fairly nicely. Oh wow, look at this over here. This is just a regular bell pepper plant here. See this one back in here. It looks pretty large already. Very nice. I don't remember which kind of pepper this is. It looks like a habanero also. But I mean, look at this thing. It's just loaded down with peppers on this one. Amazing. If we come over this way, this we planted, uh, these are all of our green beans, different varieties here. They are just now starting to make, if we come down closer, as you can see they have the flowers on them and some beans. Are, as you can see they have the beans on them and flowers. The beans are just now starting to make and they're loaded with the jungle out here. Got some more eggplants coming along look at this over here this bell peppers I got three nice sized bell peppers right there amazing here is our uh, okra I don't see any okra on it just yet uh, no flowers I don't think Hopefully we'll get some before it starts to cool down. We'll see what happens with Here that. Here I have our tomatoes that I planted, uh, I guess in July, middle of summer here in Texas, which is a killer. But they're finally starting to cool down out here, getting below 90 degrees, which uh, helps the fruit uh, set. And uh, I'm not sure what varieties they are. I think my dogs pretty much dug up all my steaks out here. But if we come over here, this one is just loaded down. This is the indigo rose tomato. 
was trying to grow this in the fall but it didn't come out as well as I liked trying it again second time and look at this tomato plant it just looks amazing let me show you one that uh, looks like it's fully ripened already on the vine this one here is ready to pick look at this nice uh, very these are pretty small the smaller plants are ideal to grow in the fall so they ripen up a lot faster than the bigger tomato varieties here's some more okra over here here's some lettuce I had planted earlier it's been crazy hot actually fall has just started to try to come here in Dallas last weekend it got in the 80s but we've been up back up to 95 for the high and this lettuce is just shooting up so it's still way too hot for lettuce unfortunately we'll plant some more out later on we've got our Brussels sprouts here coming along very nicely as well as some broccoli plants basil here check out this basil plant it's just growing like crazy a uh, ton of seeds on here but if you look down closer on the bottom of the ground here some of the seeds are starting to come fall off and we already got new basil sprouting in the ground here so basil wow easy to grow amazing we got a ton of basil we'll be picking this and uh, making stuff and saving it before uh, first freeze and we got some more cabbage down below here brussels sprouts over here of course you can see my lettuce all have shot up because it is just too hot right now for lettuce unfortunately and let me tell you one thing we I cut some of this lettuce here uh, for a salad the other day and wow it was so bitter very strong so uh, still way too hot for lettuce to grow keep on coming down here we got a banana plant this thing is loaded with banana peppers as you can see trying to do this video before it starts to rain because we're gonna have rain all weekend which is a good thing these banana peppers are amazing there's some down here below are actually uh, looks like they're ripening fully turning an orangish color very cool we'll get out here and pick all those here's some of the sorrel we planted a while back it's coming along nicely looking pretty good it's kind of being shaded by this uh, gigantic uh, pumpkin vine for those of you who believe everything on the internet it says on the internet this uh, pumpkin vine reaches 10 feet well it's more like uh, 20 25 feet uh, in our garden here this vine is just growing like crazy I haven't been able to contain it in my little area as I was planning so I haven't been out here and this vine just spreads like crazy so there's just a uh, quick update of our garden not a lot going on right now we got quite a bit of green beans about to make we'll be picking those the black eyed peas as you can see over here they are got pods on them not quite ready to shell yet and our peppers over here all the peppers are just going like crazy They've, this is the best year for, for peppers that we've ever had okra i'm not sure maybe a little too late we'll see if we get any okra out of there tomatoes they kind of burned up some in the middle of the summer as you can see but they are starting to produce some tomatoes and we got tons of broccoli cabbage and swiss chard this was planted back in uh, january and the swiss chard is still coming along just fine the uh, chickens love the swiss chard by the way here over here check out underneath of our uh, asparagus if you can get in here yes there is a pumpkin under there <laughs> hiding we have several pumpkins out here this vine is just gigantic inside our blackberry bushes there is another pumpkin somewhere I'll have to go around the other side here's some uh, garlic chives I think these are the garlic chives or onion chives I don't remember which one the ones with the white flowers these things are perennial here for us 
I planted these a couple years ago and they just keep on growing here like crazy so it's real nice to have uh, some chives so the garden looks like a big mess but it's uh, producing fully right now still and uh, here's our other pumpkin I had down here hiding in our blackberry plant we have a ton of pumpkins we've already harvested a few well, I talked about earlier in our last video so uh, pumpkin butternut squash over here still coming along not much else going on on this uh, garden once we get our first freeze I'll get out here and clean up a lot of this stuff and get some lettuce chards and different greens planted so uh, as you can see it's still too hot in Dallas for a lettuce it is just shot up this lettuce is bitter so there is the latest in our uh, vegetable garden so uh, thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe and comment down below if you like uh, see what we got coming along in the uh, fall let's go uh, check out our chickens real quick here's our uh, chickens here we have they're uh, getting close to uh, I think almost 20 weeks now hopefully we'll be having some uh, eggs fairly soon we've got six chickens one is hiding in all of these uh, flower bed they found this uh, flower bed around our shed here and just love this uh, flower bed they're out here all day just free ranging and they run into the coop at night so uh, there's just a quick shot of our uh, backyard chickens let me see if I can find the other one uh, hiding in the bushes here they oh let me show you one more thing here they love this is a beauty berry plant right here we have growing it's finally uh, got the berries on it let me pull some of these off here and show you they just love this bush they've been jumping up here you can see they're already coming to me and they they'll just go crazy for these uh, beauty berry berries I guess you call them <laughs> so uh, we got some uh, natural plants here in our landscape that the uh, chickens can also eat on so it's very nice to have in the spring our uh, other tree our mulberry tree that makes a mess in our backyard they're gonna go crazy for also so they're under here under all of our uh, shrubbery out here having a good old time All right, so there's just a real quick recap of our uh, chickens and our vegetable garden. Um, it's finally autumn, officially according to the calendar. Hopefully autumn will arrive here in uh, Dallas fairly soon as it's uh, been in the mid 90s lately. It's finally cooling down a little bit, but uh, we need some fall weather to get this vegetable garden growing a little bit better for the fall. So uh, thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. Ha, ha, ha.